travelling up from Brighton in the days when I used to set up radio stations and I was going up to Capital Radio and I used to read some in, on the, in Punch magazine. It uh, shows you how long ago that was. And uh, yeah, he was a great writer and he was the, the funniest sketch writer I think there has ever been, certainly in the last uh, 50 years in the House of Commons. Michael White, who's certainly hugely admired and respected, wasn't he, throughout Westminster? Yes, um, he, was, he could be such a naughty boy, Simon. He had a very low boredom threshold. You knew you'd lost him when he got out his diary or the crossword to do in mid-conversation. But um, he liked people, and I'm glad to hear Michael Fabricant, uh, that Mike Fabricant knows that he liked Michael Fabricant. And Michael was very good for business, of course. Uh, that fascinating wig of his, Simon, we heard in the clip. I, I of course, uh, deny was, anything about that. Well, uh, okay, you stick to your story, Mr. Fabricant. Uh, Simon will want you to do that. But, but uh, he, he could see there was no, no malice in him. And he had his favourites, and he had people who really made him across. I always thought he was too mean to John Presco. But he thought Tony uh, 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 Blair was a bit of a wrong one. He also thought Tony Fenn was. And he could see that there was a point to Mrs. Thatcher, even though he did him out. He was serious. He'd been a Northern Ireland correspondent during the Troubles, well regarded. It's quite heavy. I'm sure someone can pop over and fetch it for me. There's a few days yet before they leave the room. Wow. Gosh, Henry, that's amazing. A tractor, of course it is. And what do you want to say to Rob and me? Thank you, Rob. Oh, that, well, that's okay. I'm glad you like it. I love it, don't you? I'm playing with it. You love it.